we're out here today looking at a little bit of corn and you know this year has been a challenge from start to finish you know we've had excess rainfall we've had you know fertilized shortages it seems like trying to get our liquid fertilized put on our corn is a challenge this year and so you know you're thinking about what things are and how things are going to be different what we could plan for different well one thing we've been doing the last few years on our farm we've been using a product with pivot bio called proven 40 and it's actually a standard practice on our farm We've been using it for several years. We got a good fit for it in our operation, but it does allow us to reduce our nitrogen by 40 units. And on a year like this year, when we've had, what, 13, 14 inches of rainfall in just a few weeks after we planted our corn, if we'd had that nitrogen up front, the loss would have been excessive in that amount of nitrogen with that amount of rainfall, especially when corn wasn't even up yet. But we use, you know, pivot bios proven before we actually seed treat our corn with it. Just how it grows on the roots and constantly pull in more nitrogen from the atmosphere, things like that. It's always supplying that plant what it needs. You can see it behind us here. The corn looks great, it looks happy. We've had a lot of rain this year. Uh, nitrogen is gonna be an issue on a lot of farms. It could be an issue on ours, but as of right now, everything we're seeing in the plots looks great. The corn looks good overall. And like I said, the other thing we ran into this year, another thing I like about it, it reduced us by 40 units, and that was 40 less units I was trying to find when nitrogen did get tight this year. And the cost of it went up so high. So there's a there is always a fit for these products. You gotta figure out how they work best on your farm. But once you get in sync and figure out exactly how it's working and where you can use it, it really makes things a lot easier.